in the topic of inequalities, we are using these symbols. So we've got bigger than, smaller than or less than, bigger than or equal to, and less than or equal to. So let's look at this first example. It says on the number line, show the inequality n is bigger than minus 2, bigger than negative 2. We know n is bigger because it's on the bigger side. So the bigger side of the inequality is n, so n is bigger than minus 2. So how do we write this? How do we draw this on a number line? So we put a circle at negative 2, and we want the side that's bigger, and we draw an arrow in that direction. So this is the bigger side, so it's an arrow in that direction. So it can be anything bigger than negative 2. So negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so on. The second example says on a number line, show the inequality n is less than or equal to 3. So n is on the smaller side, so it's less than, and the line underneath means it can equal 3. So we're looking at 3 on the line, and the smaller side, the less than, is this way. So we draw an arrow in that direction. But how can we tell the difference between if it can equal or if it can't equal? So if it can equal, we colour in the circle. So this means that it can equal 3 and 2 and 1 and 0 and negative 1 and so on. Okay, two questions for you to try. So on a number line, show these inequalities. The first one, on the number line, show the inequality, t is less than 4. So we're going to do a circle at 4. We're not going to colour it in because it cannot equal 4. And it's less than, so it's on the smaller side, and it's just an arrow in this direction. And the second one, on the number line, show the inequality, p is bigger than or equal to negative 2. So we're at negative 2, it can equal negative 2, so we'll colour that in. And the bigger side, so on the bigger side we draw the arrow, and there is our inequality. Okay, another set of questions. So this time we've got on the number line, show the inequality. So we've got n bigger than negative 2, and it's also less than 4. So n is in between negative 2 and 4 this time. So we do one circle at negative 2, one circle at 4, and we join them up. So on, this says on our number line that it's bigger than negative 2, less than 4. So it's anything in between negative 2 and 4. It can't equal either of them, so we don't colour them in. The second example on the number line show the inequality. N is bigger than minus 1, but less than or equal to 7. So bigger than minus 1, so that's a circle. And it's less than or equal to 7. So we colour it in to say it can equal 7. And we join them up. Okay, two more for you to try. So pause the video and give these a go. Okay, so this time we're looking at B. So this number line says B. On the number line, show the inequality, b is bigger or equal to negative 1, and less than or equal to 4. So it's bigger than or equal to negative 1, so we colour that in, and it's less than or equal to 4, so we also colour that in, because it can equal. It can equal 4, and it can equal negative 1. They're both coloured in, and we join them up.
and the second one. On the number line, show the inequality. So we've got y is bigger or equal to negative 5. And less than 1. So we don't colour in the 1 circle because it cannot equal 1. And we join these two up. So it can be anything in between minus 5 and 1. It can equal minus 5, but it can't equal 1. And a different type of question. So we've got, this time it says, n is bigger, on the bigger side, than negative 2, and less than 4. So in between negative 2 and 4, where n is an integer. That means a whole number. Write down the possible values of n. So it can't equal negative 2, and it can't equal 4, because... There's not an or equal to symbol, so it can be negative 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So in between negative 2 and 4, but it can't equal negative 2, and it can't equal 4. For the second one, we've got n is bigger than minus 1, and less than or equal to 7. So again, n is an integer. And we need to write down the possible values. So in between minus 1 and 7. And this time it can equal 7. But it can't equal minus 1. So that will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. Because it can equal 7. Okay, two for you to try. So pause the video and give them a go. Okay, the first one. So, y is bigger or equal to minus 1 and less than or equal to 4. So, it can be, it can equal minus 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, and it can equal 4. And the second one, y is bigger or equal to minus 5 and less than 1. So in between minus 5 and 1, it can equal minus 5, it can't equal 1. So we've got minus 5, minus 4, minus 3, minus 2, minus 1 and 0. It can't equal 1, so they are all the options. Okay, two questions to finish up. So have a go at these and then carry on when you're ready. Question 1, on the number line, show the inequality, n is bigger than negative 5 and less than or equal to 6. So in between negative 5 and 6, it can equal 6, it can't equal negative 5. So it can't equal negative 5, so we don't colour it in. It can equal 6, so we do colour that in. And we just join them up the line. And that is the answer. Question two. Y is bigger or equal to negative two and less than or equal to three. So in between negative two and three and it can equal negative two and it can equal three. So what are the integer values that Y could be? So start with negative two and negative one. 0, 1, 2, and 3. And they are all the options. 